All right, guys. Let's go over this for the last time, all right? Get him coming out of work. Put this bag over his head. Hit him over the head with this hammer on the blunt side. We tie him up, put him in our minivan, and we bring him here. We'll keep him until we get our money, at which point we let him go. One piece. Simple plan. Okay? For the last time, are there any questions? Well, when did you get me? I thought I'd hold on. One at a time. One at a time, people. Williams, what could you be confused about? Which one of us is Williams? I think I am, if I remember correctly. And I'm Tango, right? Yeah. I'm Tango! I am! How could you forget your code name, Charlie? You couldn't even think of one when it was code name time. You just kept your real first name, Charlie! Oh, yeah, well, I I remember that now, at code name time, I remember that I couldn't come up with a code name, and I just stuck with my actual name, which is Charlie, and I apologize for that. Now, I remember my code name is Charlie. Oh, and, well, my code name is Williams because my favorite movie is The World According to Gar. Yeah, I remember now. I'm um, really oh sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Jesus. Tango! Stick to the code names. I'm Tango. Sorry, Tango. Jeez. What is your question? When we hit him over the head, won't that hurt him? Yes, it will hurt him severely. It will hurt him so bad he will immediately lose consciousness. And hopefully, that's, that's why we're doing it. Well, that just seems like a mean thing to do, doesn't it? Me? Williams, we're kidnapping this man. It's a criminal enterprise. It doesn't get much meaner than that. Well, it doesn't mean that we can't be cordial about it. I mean, we could warn him very sternly. Like, say something like, Now, mister, um, if you run away, we will be very disappointed in you. Like, something like that. He's got a kitten that we're hoping to house train. He's a wealthy businessman that we plan to abduct and terrorize for our financial gain. Okay? Bag, hammer, bang. We tie him up and get our money. This is basic kidnapping. What about the duct tape? What duct tape? The duct tape they always use in the movies. It really seems like it works. Right? Now hear me out on this. Whenever they kidnap somebody in the movies, what do they always have? They always have the duct tape. Tape them up, and it takes them, like, three minutes to get out of that. That's like 300 seconds. See? Oh, well, that's long. Thank you. No, that's not long. So you're talking about holding someone for a few minutes. It's something you've seen in movies. But guys, we have to be serious about this, okay? Duct tape is not practical. Tie them up. Okay? You're going to have to be here for days. And we've got to plan for the long term. Look, uh, if it's going to take them that long to find this ransom, then maybe we should just ask for money, just flat out money. Ransom is money! We're asking for money in exchange for the hostage. That practice is known as ransom. Are you with me? Well, if this is just a practice, then why do you actually in that guy? No, we're kidnapping a guy and asking for money in exchange for his safety. That's called ransom. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just... I just got it. The guy we're kidnapping is named Ransom. Go to kidnap Ransom. Yes. Money, Ransom, Ransom, money. I mean, I can't figure out what the hell is going on here. They're both the same thing. Money and Ransom are the same thing. So just say money from now on, okay? No more talk about Ransom. We're through with Ransom. Next person to say Ransom to me, I'm going to kill. How did we get our ran our money? How did we get our money? We make a phone call to the police. Ooh, are we going to use the computerized voices from the movie Scream? 
I love those things. There is no need for that. I can do voices. What do you mean? I'm a vocal chameleon. I can replicate anything with my voice. Are you sure? I was born sure. Okay, not to break that up, but that doesn't mean anything. I was born sure. So I was born ready is the expression. You were born ready. I sure was. Guys, I'm done. I can't I can't take any more of this. I'm gonna have an aneurysm if I have to explain any more things today. Let's let's just wrap it up with the plane. I'll right? we'll uh, finish this another time. I have a, another question. What how much are we expecting from this uh, guy we're kidnapping? I mean, if we ask for too much, they might just say, hey, why don't we keep him? And that's the last thing I want, because I can't take care of a grown man. Well, yeah. Uh, what's, like, a normal rate for a kidnapping? Yeah, I mean, there is no normal rate. It well, depends what, on the person. Well, I mean, what can we get from you? From you? Yeah. For me? I don't know. Not much. I work at a pop of jobs. Uh, maybe, like, a thousand bucks. A thousand dollars? Guys, a thousand dollars is nothing. It's not a lot of money as far as kidnappings go. Look, we're talking about committing a federal crime, you know? It's only going to be worth doing if we get enough money that it, it changes our lives radically. And we can finally escape from the tedium of the day to day that we. Oh! What are you doing? The dragon has been slayed. Don't forget the computer voice. I got it covered. Hello, police? I don't think. I don't think. Oh, um, um, uh, yes, uh, please. Um, uh, we need a ransom for, um, uh, oh, sweet Papa John's. Uh, pineapple and uh, order we'll of breadsticks. Uh, order of uh, pineapple. Pineapple, and, yeah, and uh, breadsticks. Breadsticks, too. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. 